Hi, I'm Chloe, I'm the founder of Comdog Games. This is my working bread spring espanol cam and welcome to our new YouTube channel. I thought I would take you along and share with you what I've been doing to create active calm time in the outdoors. I hope you enjoy coming along. If there's one activity from the enrichment deck that I do most often with my spaniel, it's scatter feeding. Scatter feeding is a method of feeding your dog by scattering small amounts of dry food or treats onto a grassy area for them to find with their nose. I use the cue go find it so that he knows we're doing an activity. It's important to scatter on grass that's long enough to conceal the food so that the dog is using their nose rather than their eyes to seek out the food. And Cam doesn't really need any motivation to take part, he loves any activity, but you can always add in some higher value treats into the scatter mix for extra interest. Sniffing is a dog's dominant sense and the way they naturally explore. In the enrichment deck, scatter feeding falls within the calm category as it encourages sniffing, which is innately calming for dogs. And I've called the card hunter-gatherer as it fulfills natural foraging behaviors. Any activity that involves sniffing engages the brain and is mentally stimulating. Because we don't just want to exercise the body, we want to exercise our dog's brain through their nose and give them safe outlets for natural behaviors and prey drive. This is how to help them become calmer and more content. So I do a combination of shorter scatter sessions at around 20 minutes and then longer sessions at around 30 to 45 minutes. And the shorter sessions are good for mental stimulation top ups, such as taking him out at lunchtime or portioning a meal out into two to three different activities. And then the longer sessions are for when I want to set him a sustained task to release that energy since he is a working breed and calm him down in a highly stimulating environment. The larger the area you scatter over, the longer the activity will last. Experimenting with that is how I now gauge the time, and I just found it helpful when I was getting started to do that time check, as it can feel like you've been sat there for 20 minutes and it's actually only been five. If you only have a small space, you can simply portion the food and scatter one portion at a time to get the most out of that space. So as well as being a good at home activity, I also started taking Cam out with the intention of scatter feeding at our usual walking spots. I found that scatter feeding created a calming buffer between him and the environment. He's extremely high drive and the scatter feeding focused his mind, which is always helpful, and gave him the chance for any initial excitement to drop and let him settle into his surroundings. After doing this for a couple of months, it really changed the tone for our time outdoors. His daily excursions incorporate much more relaxed mooching around and calm sniffing than they did previously, even in high stimulus environments like the woods. And that's not to say he doesn't have excitement or stress triggers, we all do. For him, this may be the sight of a rabbit, finding a football in a hedge, or because another dog has raced over to him. And things will happen that are out of our control is what we do next that matters. And this is a simple, practical way that I can actively feed into calmness on a daily basis by directing the energy downwards into calm sniffing. Thank you. 
it's important to do what's safe and appropriate for you and your individual dog. Dogs are naturally scavengers, and so the main concern you may have is will scatter feeding reinforce general scavenging? The aim of enrichment is to provide outlets for natural behaviours to make your dog feel more fulfilled. So when you can provide these regular outlets for your dog, they are less likely to be so desperate to seek out their own fun. Dogs can also understand the context of a game or activity, especially when you give it a cue. I can't cover everything here, though I've written an article on my website specifically about scatter feeding to go more in depth, things to be mindful of, and also give you some extra ideas and indoor alternatives. I'll leave the link below. I'm just sharing what I do personally. If scavenging is a real issue for your dog, then consulting with a behaviourist would always be the best course of action. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when the next video goes up. These will all be on the topics of enrichment and brain games and activities that you can do with your dog. And let me know in the comments if slowing down and doing scatter feeding is something that you've tried or you're looking at trying and let me know how it works out for you. Enjoy your time together and I'll see you soon.